Hello there, it's Sunday morning here and I'm enjoying my morning coffee and I figured I would give you a bit of an update because a lot has been happening in these past few weeks. I have reached 9000 subscribers on YouTube, I um, got my CKS certification, the Certified Kubernetes Security Specialist, which was a big one, and I've been awarded with the Microsoft MVP title. So yeah, I figured I would just talk a little bit about uh, these topics today. Because yeah, I'm also getting close to uh, 10K subscribers and yeah, I'm just, I'm just amazed with all of the, um, the, the interaction that we're getting and the comments and the kind feedback. And yeah, things are really going in the right direction for me. They are all huge milestones and I'm really grateful that you have been following me along the way. And I'm also working on something big in return. In the background I, I have some plans and there is a big announcement coming up fairly soon. So definitely stay tuned for that because I think you're going to like it. And it's going to be completely for free. So about the CKS, yeah, this is a goal that I've had for a long time and this is going to sound really nerdy, but it is really one of my life's goals to get that certification because man, it was a tough one. I did my, my CKA uh, over two years ago and that was tough because at that point I hadn't had any I didn't have years of experience with Kubernetes. I, I, I knew what it was and, and, and what it did and how it worked, but it's not that I was working with it every day. So that was definitely a big hurdle and, and, and a uh, massive effort I had to do there. And then now with the CKS, th that one had been on my radar for, for years. Like th that was really a, a point on the horizon that I was uh, working towards. And now I have it and, and I did it by uh, well, following the course. There's an 11 hour course on YouTube and I, I diligently worked my way through that. And I made sure not to progress before I fully understood what it was about, like what the subject matter was about when I was watching it. Sometimes you have to get, you get the tendency to just keep watching and, and you're just powering through the course, but not this time. I really made sure that I understood it fully before I made the, 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 before I started the next module of the course. And then there is the killer coda scenarios. I did a lot of practice on those. I completed all of them for the CKS multiple times over and I live streamed a lot of it too. And um, I did I, I put a large emphasis on network policies and RBAC, role-based access control. Creating service accounts, creating users, creating cluster roles, creating roles and role bindings. That was one of my weak points and now I feel like I have really mastered that. And the network policies too. I, I'm using Cilium in my home lab and that really simplifies network policies. But now I really learned how to do network policies properly um, in the, the classic way, so to speak. So yeah, I, I figure it has been about 80 hours and I, I did about one or two hours a day after work. And in the weekends I did yeah, maybe six to eight hours of CKS studies. And especially the last weekend I did the Killer SH marathons. Because when you sign up for the CKS exam, you get two free passes on the C Killer SH, and each pass is valid for 36 hours. And you can just do the, the exams over and over as much as you like during those 36 hours. It's one exam of 20 questions, and it's really tough. And by the end of the weekend, I, I managed to do it uh, with, uh, I do managed to do all of the 20 questions within the two hours. And it, uh, it, uh, I, I felt very confident for the exam, but man, the exam was tough. Wow, there were a few questions uh, that I didn't get around to answering at all. And I'm, I'm fast in the terminal. I, I know Tmux, I, I know Vim. I, I, I wasn't stumbling with that at all. I didn't, I, I've gotten to the point that I don't need to think about the key bindings to open a new window in, in Tmux or Vim. It, it happens just automatically. 
and still I was struggling with time and I wasn't relying on the documentation too much but it, it's a really tough exam because of the time pressure but I also learned a lot in the process from these studies. I feel much more confident about uh, deploying workloads to Kubernetes in production. I know what it means, what containers can do on a, a kernel level, like making syscalls to the kernel. And that has become much, has become much more clear to me how, how containers are actually run on these kinds of systems. And I always envisioned that there would be a sort of separation layer uh, between the kernel and the containers. But actually, if you just vanilla, it, it is actually just making syscalls to the kernel directly. And if, you, or if you're not careful, you can just interact with the host operating system. So it has been extremely useful to get more deeper insight into this. And um, yeah, it definitely made me uh, more confident in my capabilities as a Kubernetes engineer. So yes, the CKS was a big journey and it, it has been a while since I took a proper certification like that. And it was good to be back in that uh, exam mode, that, that sort of healthy stress that you get in, in preparation for it, but also during the, the exam itself. It was a good reminder and it, it really brought me back into what I've done to achieve this point where I am now, uh, which, yeah, has led to me being recognized as an MVP. Uh, I, I'm just so happy that Microsoft has acknowledged my efforts because every day, man, every day, like um, during the work week, but also in the weekends, I am always studying, writing blogs, exploring new technologies, keeping up to date with the tech, and sharing it back to the community, making videos, making blogs. And I've been doing it for years and years. And for Microsoft to come out and to actually um, yeah, acknowledge me for that with this award, acknowledging me as a community leader, as a uh, subject matter expert in the category that I am uh, awarded in, which is Azure Infrastructure as Code. I'm just so, so happy about that. And it really feels like a, a huge achievement. And, and yeah, how do I call it? It's one of life, life's goals. Like MVP, you don't really do uh, to as a goal. Like I, I'm going to become an MVP. I didn't even know what MVP was nine months ago. I was just already doing the things that are needed. And then when I found out about it, then I figured it, it would align with my with my what I was already doing. But I didn't do all the blogging and the videos uh, with the intention to become an MVP because it won't work that way. Microsoft will know this. So it is a huge thing. There's only 4,000 people in the world and I really feel acknowledged for all of my efforts. And uh, yeah, that is, I just feel so, so, what do you say? It feels weird. It really feels weird that I, like, I've, I've really made a, a huge change in my life when I changed my career to IT. And I really worked hard for it. I, hard, hard. And I still work hard every day. I work 12 hours a day on the goals that I want to achieve. And I sacrifice a lot for it. And then to get this recognition, it just feels good. And it also will take use. I need to get used to the status that I have now, that people are reaching out to me for things that I had never imagined possible. So that is definitely uh, opening up doors and new networking opportunities that I am uh, going to embrace. And uh, it will require me to get out of my comfort zone more as well with these kinds of things. But that is good because there's no growth without pain. There's no growth without friction. and this is definitely some an area that I uh, am going to explore and grow more in. So feeling really good about that. And then, yeah, I, I have um, also the work on my school community has been going, uh, going strong. We are growing steadily and I started it a few months ago not knowing what was going to happen and to see that we now have 135 members already it's just amazing and, and not just because of the interaction 
that I have with the community, but also to see the community members interacting amongst themselves is just so much fun and, and to see. And it gives me so much satisfaction to see you know, literally relationships starting to form and people helping each other and, and like encouraging each other along the way for their certification goals, people learning to ask for help and to become better professionals. And yes, it is, uh, it is something really, really great is happening there. And I don't regret it for a day that I did it. Uh, even though it's costing me quite a lot of money with all of the investments I have to do into it. And I have to spend one, two hours. Uh, I mean, I say I have to, but I, I spend at least one, one, two hours a day on either researching for courses, creating courses, uh, interacting with the community, making myself available for Q&A calls and, and, and having direct contact with the community. But it is a, a labor of love. It's, it really is a feeling that I'm building something great here, something that has great potential for people who want to break into the industry or who want to lift themselves up. And yeah, like I said in one of my recent videos, I, I haven't had to ban a single person yet in these few months. I had expected that it would be like uh, a lot of community management and that fights would break out and people would be unkind to each other but that hasn't happened at all it's just kind people and that i think that's because uh, yeah, there's this phrase that i've heard i, I forget where but uh, it says you attract that which you are and i am an ambitious guy who is calm and who is kind and who treats people well and I, I am attracting the same people. It is a really close-knit community of kind people who are all rooting for each other and will, willing to help each other. And um, yeah, you attract that which you are. And I truly, that really holds true so far in my life. And yeah, the, um, I've recently completed my Kubernetes fundamentals course. So that's about an 11 hour course where I really go into depth on how to get your first Kubernetes cluster started on your local machine so that you have something to, to start learning on and with. You need to have a place where you can uh, quickly spin up applications, try out some manifests and quickly reset your cluster you want to be able to install things from code and all of that I go through in the, in the course, but also how to do everything from the command line, because that's a very important skill if you want to do the CKA, CKAD, CKS exams. And I found that this is really lacking in the courses that uh, I have done to prepare myself. So this is really a great starting point or a great jump board for those courses. So I, I recommend taking my course first and then move on to the CKA course um, if that's what uh, your goal is. So that one is finished and now I, uh, I already have a bunch of material on note taking and, and getting your systems up and running. But now I'm planning to go into more depth uh, into those topics. So the first, the next course I am planning is going to be about advanced note taking techniques and how I use periodic notes for goal setting and, and um, managing my, my goals, my progress and my achievements and how, how the entire system that I use every day in order to achieve what I'm doing. And well, with, with the recent certifications and the Microsoft MVP award, I think that's quite a good proof that it is working for me. So I want to share that with you as well. And I'm going to work on a course on um, another advanced note taking techniques course where I'll go um, uh, and present the Zettelkasten method for knowledge workers and how, how my interpretation of that is. Or basically, it is the, the original Lumen method, but I have modified it in some ways for because we are not academics we are knowledge workers we are tech workers and we need to use this to to uh, efficiently um, store information 
but also to use the Zettelkasten as a method of learning itself. The act of writing notes, the act of creating these notes, is an act of learning. It's an act of facilitating understanding. It's not about just collecting notes, it's also how you can use your note-taking system as a method for thought and a method for learning, which works really well for me and which I like to share back. And yeah, there are um, uh, other courses that I have uh, planned are also building upon um, uh, another course that I've planned is um, how to start a tech blog. My tech blog is basically, I've called it the ultimate tech job hack, the t ultimate tech career hack, which is starting a tech blog. And I'm going to describe everything, all of the steps I, I took to do it, how you can start your blog, why it's important, what you should write about and how you can do this in combination with a busy life. And I, I've done it and it has worked very well for me. You can see where it led me. I've been offered jobs based on people just reading my blog and um, I know how to do it. I know how it works. I'm the living proof of it and I want to share that with you as well. So lots of interesting courses coming up and also with, uh, with those done, then we're going to build upon the, those to get even deeper into Kubernetes and home labbing and Linux. And there's just so much uh, Azure, there's just so much coming up. So um, exciting times, exciting times. So again, uh, there is something big coming up, which is going to be for free. And please um, stay tuned for that. And yeah, again, thank you so much for being part of this journey. I hope to have you with me every step of the way. I am now exploring doing more live streaming as well. So if that's your thing, then um, please subscribe to me on YouTube, but also on Twitch. That really helps me to get more followers on Twitch and to um, yeah, bec become a blimp on the radar there as well. And um, thank you so much for watching, for all of your kind support. And um, I hope to see you in the next video or in my school community. Have a good day.